Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday, so this is going to be my Top 5 Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday is a Goodreads group created by Ginger Reads Laney. I hadn't intended on making a video this week because the topic is Top 5 Favorite Books of the of the last year, 2015, and I, and I had planned on making a Top 10 list, a video just, you know, of my own, <laughs> but I never got around to doing that because Christmas ended up being way crazier than I anticipated so I just didn't really have time for it and now we're kind of in a crunch to the end of the year and I know I could obviously post it after the year's over but I'm just gonna do this and be done with it. So there were a lot of books that I read this year. I really challenged myself uh, more than I realized and read a lot of things outside of my normal comfort zone or, and just like normal things that I read. Um, so I'm just going to quickly go have a little list right here, uh, go over my top five favorite reads of the year. So number five was Lock In by John Scalzi. This was my first John Scalzi book ever and I saw it on Goodreads. Not anybody I knew specifically was reading it, but it was just like trending this week in like science fiction or something like that. Um, and I thought it was interesting so I picked it up and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun and an interesting concept. Um, and I'm trying to remember who, I think it was Lindsay Ray, she was talking about how you don't really know anything about the main character because one of the main points of Lock-In is there's a disease called Hayden Syndrome that causes like one, like there's three options for like how you deal with it. You either die, you either recover, or you are like locked in so you're fully conscious but your body doesn't work. And so they live in these things called Reaps, Threeps, sorry, um, named after C-3PO. And um, they, you don't know if it's a man, if it's a woman, if they're black or they're white um, or anything, you know, about them. And you kind of have to, they never, you know, I don't know, they never specify the main character, uh, what their gender identity is or or anything like that. So, I mean, it was a really interesting book. I really enjoyed it and I'm really looking forward to reading more John Scalzi in the coming year. The next book, number four, is Why Not Me by Mindy Kaling. I read Why Not Me and Is Everybody Hanging Out Without Me this year and I really enjoyed them. I think part of the reason I probably enjoyed Why Not Me a little bit more is because I did read this one in audiobook format and it was just really interesting to hear Mindy Kaling reading the story and stuff like that. I mean reading the book, it's not a story, it's her life. Uh, just talking about her life and I thought it was really interesting and fun. I like her so much. And and I liked learning about her experiences. I love like when her mentor, you know, was talking, I can't think of his name off the top of my head. And I love like BJ Novak in it. And I really, I know a lot of people didn't like it, especially in the uh, audiobook format, but the little like um, emails between the two teachers that like, I thought that was so cute. I loved it. Um, the next thing that I have on here, number three is Trillium by Jeff Lemire. Um, Jeff Lemire, I hope I'm saying his name right, uh, but he writes Descender and Sweet Tooth and a lot of other comic books. <laughs> those are just the two that I can think of off the top of my head uh, and I really love it. Uh, all those books, I think that he's a great writer and I mean I haven't really picked up anything by him that I didn't love, but I particularly loved Trillium. Um, it is about like it's an intergalactic love story about two like literal star-crossed lovers. They're in like different dimensions and or something and they connect through this portal that's through like this Aztec temple thing and you can pass through it by consuming this flower called Trillium or something like that. It's just really weird but it was just really interesting and sad and beautiful. I cried at the end. Uh, it's just a single uh, trade paperback. I think it was six individual issues and I read it in individual issue format but you can pick it up in a trade paperback form. And I really loved it. And so, oh, he also writes Pluto now, which is really fun so far. Number two is The Girl with All the Gifts by M.R. Carey. This is a zombie book and it is unlike anything you'll ever read in the zombie genre. Um, I don't want to give away too much because it's such an interesting book, but I guess very early on you'll realize, you know, the little part that I'm going to, you know, that I've already kind of spoiled, which is that it's about uh, this woman and she's like a teacher 
and she teaches this class of children who are all like strapped into wheelchairs and they have like things around their necks and I think even something around their mouth and they're like strapped in and they're just in these wheelchairs and they're wheeled to class and stuff and um, uh, they, they're zombies but they're like sentient and like conscious and like un like they're human but they're zombies and I know that like it's it's a weird concept but um they they can't like the people they have to cover them, themselves in like this chemical this e-blocker I think it was called an e-blocker um but it like to cover like their scent and their pheromones and stuff because that's what the zombies are attracted to and so if they're like if they're covered in this stuff then the the zombie kid thing that's growing and alive still um is just like a normal kid but if that gets like wiped off like there's a part where a guy like licks his hand and like rubs it off of his arm and like the kid like goes like full zombie and it's crazy but um it follows one girl who um is different from everybody and it was so interesting and just it was very weird the ending was so like heartbreaking and just insane it was very crazy um and then the final book number one my favorite book of 2015 was you're never weird on the internet almost by felicia day i love felicia day and i had anticipated really enjoying this book but i didn't anticipate loving it as much as I did. There's so much about her that I didn't realize. Like I didn't know that she dealt with depression and I, you know, I knew nothing about her life growing up and I didn't know she went to University of Texas, which is really interesting. Um, and, or that she went at like 16 on like a violin scholarship or something like that. Um, I don't know the exact details like of what it is, but I'm pretty certain it was a violin scholarship. And, um, I didn't I had no clue that she didn't have like an amazing relationship with her brother her whole life because they're so close now um, and it's just weird to think that there was ever a time that they didn't totally get along um, and I don't know I just really enjoyed it and I was really able to feel like not like not close to her that's creepy sounding <laughs> feel like I could similar to her I can't think of the word a lot of her life experiences are completely different from mine but also like very similar in certain ways and stuff like that I relate I can relate to her and I thought that was really awesome sometimes it's hard to think of people especially like celebrity people who like it's hard to think of like a time before like who they were before they were a celebrity and and the steps that they took to get where they are now it's so hard to think that it wasn't just like handed to them you know and it wasn't at all handed to Felicia Day <laughs> like she worked really hard to get where she is and I think that's amazing she was a really interesting person and I hope to one day like meet her and get the book signed that would be amazing um so that was that's it those are my top five books of 2015. I really love them. I'm really looking forward to reading more in the coming year, um, especially more memoirs because this is my first year reading a memoir, my first year reading audiobooks, and those are like my two favorite things right now, um, especially audiobook memoirs, <laughs> my very favorite right now. Um, but let me know how you feel about these books, if you like them, if you think they're like bad or great, uh, what are your favorite books of the year what was your favorite book or top five or top ten let me know in the comments uh thank you for watching you can follow me on tumblr twitter and instagram like if you like subscribe if you want to see more or whatever thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day bye